Hello, this is a video from 42% Noir. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use Easy Controller with Open Frameworks. We go to the directory of uh, the application, and uh, the only thing, important thing to remember is to move the application into different location, and then you can do whatever you want with it. I will just put it back. That's in order to let the app know where it is and uh, now I can go inside the app here you can choose the uh, MIDI interface and here you can assign the knobs and the pads from the instrument I won't do it now because it's explained in detail in the previous video but shortly you move the knob and then you press uh, the label above it it's already mapped, so that's good and we can go to the Open Frameworks uh, project. In that case, you can see that we have included the uh, SCON class. So this is the SCON class, and it can be downloaded from uh, the GitHub user through our website. Now we can uh, go to the project header file and see that we added the rival. Uh, member of the SCON class. In the app itself uh, we can call the functions from, from the class so it's, it can be very simple like label will rename the label of, of, of the knob uh, and that's very important in live playing so you can tell what each knob does in each song or each software so you can also initialize uh, some parameters, for example, you can call all s, which will give you a value in all knobs, and p will give you values in all pads. And um, we can see how it works. So let's run it. Okay, you can see that I played a bit with the pads, and the nice idea is that that uh, MIDI commands can s uh, are sent and automatically update your instrument so usually when I did it manually uh, the MIDI mapping I ignored it but uh, with this way um, it's always updated also in your MIDI so that's very nice and you can see that the receive function for example will receive slider 1 and you can see that we conveniently do it to a different range we can do other stuff, for example, presetting. So we can define a preset. Let's say we can define this one preset. The preset works only on the knobs. For example, here we press shift and set preset one. And press alt shift to delete if you want. And then we can do preset two, let's say. Okay. Preset two. Again, shift set and uh, we can call it from here for example in the setup mode control call preset one or we can assign another pad to control the preset let's say here we make uh, p4b so pad for in uh, that labeled pre2 as you can see p4b labeled pre2 so we know that this will call preset 2 so that's press this button and you can see that it changed uh, what else we can do is open max for example and uh, and uh, we can communicate also with max with this uh, this was explained in the previous video so I'll just call the external repress con and that that will uh, light the link for Max, and now we can let's say call it slider one, and we can relabel it as now OF and Max. Okay, so now we have it here, and if we just have an integer, we can see that we can control everything, and uh, or we can use our controller as we usually do and 
control everything max and open frameworks okay so that's all and uh, I hope you will download and enjoy this uh, application and uh, we would be happy to hear uh, feedbacks uh, especially improvements because we would like to develop it further thank you bye bye